Hello, I'm going to show another example uh, of OLEDump to analyze a malicious uh, spreadsheet, this one here. And this one, uh, I selected this malicious spreadsheet because uh, it's a bit different. It allows me uh, to show off another plugin, the BIFF uh, plugin. The BIFF plugin is something that I designed especially to parse uh, BIFF records and BIFF records is uh, the file format that is actually used for uh, Excel spreadsheets. So we see that uh, it contains a macro. If we run our uh, HTTP heuristics plugin to try to detect URLs, you will see that uh, no uh, URL is detected but a couple of other strings. And if you pay close attention here to this string, you will see that this is temp windows.vbs uh, in reverse. So let's have a look at the stream uh, itself and extract the VBA code. So in stream, stream 10, we have our VBA code that we want to decompress. Okay, and this is here the code. So here, here you have a couple of CHR functions, but uh, what interests us now is uh, this here. Worksheet, Excel, range D20, so that is cell D20 and the value. So this macro will extract text from cell D20 and it will write this extracted text to string, uh, sorry, to disk, save to file, and then it will execute the file that was saved to disk. So that is our windows.vbs file. So we are now, of course, interested to know what is uh, the text found in cell D20. We are not going to use Excel uh, to look at that. We are going to use OLEDump and the BIFF plugin to the extract that information. So OLEDump, the plugin that I'm going to use now is BIFF. And I'll run this on my spreadsheet. Okay. And now, if there is a workbook find, found in uh, the OLE file, the BIFF plugin will try to analyze the workbook. And here you can see that it found different BIFF records. Each line uh, is a record. This is uh, the identifier of the type of the record. Um, it contains 16 uh, bytes of data and this is uh, the beginning of file uh, type of BIFF uh, records. You have several uh, other types. For example, here uh, you have a record for password and so on. Now, the BIFF plugin also takes uh, options and there is an option to dump the strings that it finds in the BIFF records. So let's use the plugin options option here to pass option minus s. So this is the option to dump the strings that it finds in the BIFF records like this. Okay. And here you can find uh, VBS code. Another set of uh, CHR functions. Uh, this is most likely the URL, as you can see here, string file URL. And here is another one, string HD location. And those strings are found in the SSD record, so shared string table. It contains ASCII uh, strings, and this is actually the content of our uh, cell D20. So what we are going to do now is uh, convert uh, those CHR functions into a, a string, your, uh, and it will be a, a URL. And the way we are going to do that is uh, 
by converting this uh, line. So first we are going to grab for this line and then we are going to convert this line from VBS into Python and then execute it. So I need a regular expression. This is the regular expression that I need. I need this regular expression to select the lines with uh, CHR functions that are concatenated together. So let's do a PCR regrep with this regular expression. Okay, and here we have the two lines with the CHR function, so the string file URL and the string HD location. I'm going to use uh, option minus O to select only the match string. So not a full line, but only a match string. So, and here we have now two lines with only CHR functions that are concatenated with the ampersand operator. So what I'm going to do now is that first of all, I will add a print command. like this. Okay, so each line now is preceded by a print command. And then I'm going to transform this further into Python. So the CHR function also exists in Python, but it is uh, with the lowercase c. So let's uh, translate this uppercase c to lowercase c, like this. And the string concatenation operator in Python is not ampersand, uh, but, but plus. So let's replace ampersand with plus, like this. Okay, and so now we have two Python uh, statements, which we can execute by piping this into Python. Okay, so and now we have our two strings. This is our URL. And this is a string uh, exit, uh, so that is probably used to uh, set the extension of uh, the file. 